so let me tell you that my sister Patricia sent uh, like little scarves like for children and adults also uh, and they have like a hoodie and uh, some of them are like little animals like a, a bear and I'm going to be making a, a baby fox for size small for a little girl so what happens is that I'm using two DK yarns held together and this is the soft and sleek DK yarn from yarn B but any DK yarn would be okay and I'm using a G hook and so please measure and see which one you prefer I am going to be making 26 chains so let's do that so one very softly two three four five six seven and I'll see you when I finish making my chains now I'm going to go into the third chain from my hook so that is one two and on the third one I'm going to make a double crochet and I am going to make a double crochet on each of the chains so yarn over bring your yarn through take off two take off two yarn over bring your yarn through take off two take off two and I will see you at the end of this row so I have 25 double crochets because the two chains here count as one now what I want to do at the end is chain two oops let me turn this chain two turn and go into that first space between the first and the second double crochets and do a double crochet there so into that space not on top of the of, of the cr double crochet but into that space so double crochet into the space double crochet into the space and double crochet into the space double crochet and I will see you when I go all the way to the end of this row okay I'm at the end of that row and I do a double crochet between the last and the one before last so I hope you can see it there and double crochet there okay so now I am going to chain two turn and this is the row that you're going to be repeating yarn over again you go in between the first and the second double crochet and on each of the spaces you're going to have 25 stitch uh, 25 double crochets on each row so I'll see you at the end of this one so again the last double crochet would be between the last one and the one before last right in there and you repeat this row until the length you want I will come back okay so I finished the scarf and it's 55 inches long the reason is so long for a size small child is because I am going to be folding like so in order to make pockets let me show you so 
so I'm going to fold it and these are going to be pockets so after that I am going to either you can measure or count the rows to find what the middle where the middle is from there I am going to count more or less 13 inches for the opening around the neck so 13 inches means that I have 6.5 on each side to pick up the stitches because it's going to be around the neck like this and I am going to be crocheting up okay so this is the way to pick up your stitches on the first one I'm going to make two chains up and now I'm going to go and do two I'm going to be doing two one 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 two one 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 two one 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 all along so I did one and then one and two and now I do one one and one so two one and two and now one 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 that's one one and one so again two one two and now one one and one and then two that would be one and two on that same one and then one one and one so I got to the center one and I need to make two here but I'm going to count how many I have so I have two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen eighteen twenty twenty two so let's check again two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen eighteen twenty twenty two so I need the same amount on the other side and since I have to have another one here so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one and twenty two there we go so now I have the same amount on one side and the other and I turn and I do the same thing as I did so chain two up turn and go into that space again the same as what I we did in the, into the scarf so we have 44 stitches in total back and forth and I will see you when I finish this so I can show you how to sew it so now I have nine inches from where I picked up my stitches all the way to the end 
once I got to the end I sewed one side with the other so that means that I put them together and I started sewing from here to the very edge so where it folds so now we're, we need to make the ears and I'll show you how to do that so I made a fox ear this is the outside and this is the inside and once I finished with the tip I left the strands pretty long so that I can pass them down here and you know I can curl them as much as I want so let's get started with this I am going to make my magic loop there we go pick up your yarn and into that circle you're going to make 14 double crochets so chain 2 and that counts as 1 and 2 3 Four. Oops. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. Now I'm going to turn. I'm not going to finish around the loop because I'm going to use that part here for the other colors. Now I'm going to chain two and turn. And I skip the first one and I go to the next. So I'm in, into the next uh, chain. We're not doing spaces anymore, we're doing chains. So we skip one and we go into the next. And on this one we're going to make 13. So when you have 13, chain two and then on the next one you make 12 so you're going to be making one less on each row so let's see I have 2, 4, 6 7 8 9 10, 11, 12, and 13. So once I have my 13 stitches, whoops, I make my two chains up and that counts as one. And on the next row I'm going to make 12. And like that you go on until you have three left and I'll come back and tell you what to do. Okay, so I have three. I'm going to do two chains up, turn, and do one more. So now on this row I'm going to have only two. And now I'm going to chain one and I'm going to cut my yarn pretty long so I can place it to the bottom okay so now on the part where you had your magic loop that strand there I didn't tighten it so I am going to get my white yarn and I will do instead of 14 like I did with the orange I am going to do 13. 
so I'm going to put two chains here and that would be one and two so I do 13 and then the next row would be 12 and the next row would be 11 so I'm doing the same thing as with the orange one but one less stitch and of course it will be one less row and I'll come back when I finish this okay so I finished my two sections and these strands that come from the tip I'm going to pass them through the middle to the bottom like that I can have them available too now I'm going to have my black yarn attached to these and go around them so I'm going to pick up a, a strand from one side and a strand from another let me put this a little bit closer so you can see me so pass my yarn and I am going to single crochet around and it really doesn't have to be any amount of stitches here so just make them as neat as you can so that I pick up from one side I pick up from the other and single crochet so remember that the white is shorter than the orange so there we have it and just go around the best that you can as neat as you can nothing scientific here and I will see you when I go around okay so once you have the ears you can mold them as you wish you can that's why we have these two that came from the top so you can mold them so that would look nice see hey <laughs> so now you sew them to the hoodie part you can you can put them on a pin sew them into a, onto a pin like this and then use the pin to pass it through the hoodie or you can or you can sew them directly to the hoodie I'm going to sew them directly into it so I'm going to take some pictures and I will write the instructions and thank you very much for watching share us with your friends and like our page and subscribe and I will see you next time <laughs>